Okay, welcome back to Newstack. So, y'all seen my video that I've already posted. Uh, if not, it's my previous video that I posted and I got my John Wicks in. I was super excited about them. Um, sealed case of 20. There was little uh, marks, you can see one there. on the coins that I could see through the uh, the casing. And I thought maybe that it was just uh, some of this material that had got down in between the coins and, you know, caused an issue. Um, further investigation uh, showed actually that some of them, um, were stained around the sides um, fairly consistently or fairly heavily and then I don't know if this is gonna really show on here at all um, hold on I'll be right back I'm gonna go get my magnifying glass that might help oh, sorry about the shakiness move the table around Let's see here. That's not gonna help at all, actually. This might. Okay, so. I don't know how well this is gonna show up on camera, if at all. Yeah, okay, so you kind of see the two spots. Oh, no, you can't. There you go. Well, I don't know. Uh, there you go. You can see those two spots right there on the coin. Um, yeah, it, it happened on... Um, on a majority of these coins, it's got those two spots in there. I'm going to assume that it was a, cause these are all ran at the same time and then tubed at the same time cause it was a whole brand new tube. And you can see right here, it's got spotting already on it. Um, that's one of the least worst coins. Um, here again, it's got the same two spots on it. Plus the lion's pretty dinged up. Um, yeah, so the list goes on and on with these actually. And uh, here's a really bad uh, portion of it. Um, let's see if I can find any more. And these two. And some of them are pretty, pretty dinged up. Some of these, uh, have some pretty big gadgets in them that you don't even, you know, you could see that perfectly just fine. I mean, I throw a little bit of magnification on there for you. And you can see, I mean, these were, these were straight from the mint. I mean, these were put in the package and sent right to me. So before I ever got a chance to, you know, even look at them, I noticed something was wrong with them because of these, the marks on the outside of them. And I didn't want to open them. I wanted to leave them, you know, in the pack you know, keep them uncirculated, uh, you know, straight from the, the mint, so on and so forth. But I noticed that, and the more I got to looking at it, the more I was curious about it, the more I was worried that my coins were damaged. So I opened them up. I, I, I couldn't take it no more and needed to see 
uh, what was going on with these coins or these uh, rounds. See if it was just my my imagination or whether or not you know um, there was something really wrong with them. So, anyways, I got in contact with Atmex. Um, long story short, they're offering to uh, trade in the tube already. Um, I just got in contact with them last night, um, right after I opened them up. Uh, they didn't have any comments, questions, or concerns. They asked me straight up if I wanted a, uh, a refund or if I was going to, you know, just get a trade. And I just want to trade. I want, I want my, uh, I want my stack of uh, John Wicks to come in. Um, Unfortunately, you know, that means I'll have to send these back and then probably wait until yeah, they're either back in stock if they're out or, you know, wait until they actually get their, their coins in and then wait for mine to come back. So, nonetheless, uh, I'm still pretty pleased with Atmex uh, for customer service. Very speedy in return. And uh, I'm still pretty pleased with it, I'm, you know. I, I like the coins or the rounds and I want the rounds so and they're willing to exchange them for me so all in all I'm pretty pleased with that mix and their uh, customer service and I'm looking forward to get my new uh, stack of John Wicks in thanks for watching my stack grow